Once there lived a girl. She was different from the rest. But her mama loved her anyway. The teasing was bad, but her nightmares were worse than anything she faced during the day. Her mama was a very important scientist. She tried to chase the fear away and save the girl. But something went wrong, and the girl became lost. Medically speaking, it is possible. Your neurological frequencies are a match. No signs of cognitive rejection. <laughs> are you sure you want to do this, Helen? It's dangerous. Not just for Amy, but you as well. Dr. Sullivan, and she's my niece. Mary can't in her condition, so I'm the only one left who could do this. I know the risks. Even if there's a small chance for success, I'm taking it. All right, all right. Now, remember, everything you see will be a product of her imagination. Stay focused and find her quickly. Good luck. Can you hear me? Try to explore the area. It all seems so real. Don't hurt me! I'm Helen, Emmy's aunt. Why were you hiding? I was just searching the playground for a snack when, bam, everything turned into a horror movie. When did this happen? Ha! Ah, when, she says. Listen, there's no when, where, or even why here. I mean, look at me. I can talk here. The name's Barry, by the way. Listen, Barry, I'm here to find out what's doing this to Emmy. Can you help? If it helps Emmy, count me in. Helen, there's a massive spike in Emmy's brain activity. What do you see? This part of Emmy's mind used to be a playground, but now it's frightening. There's a vicious dog, and its howl is coming from everywhere at once. Emmy must be experiencing poop. If that's the case, there's nothing you can do from your end, Helen. We don't know that for sure. What if we show Emmy's mind that dogs are not scary? I have to try. Who are you talking to? I'll explain later, Barry.
What's this? Those are the mind gates. When Emmy is asleep, she comes through them to visit. But one day, these crows and latches just appeared. Three statues and three latches? That can't be a coincidence. Cheer up, Barry. We'll figure out a way to open them. Dreamscape. Emmy? She's not here right now. Can I take a message? <laughs> Who are you? What have you done to my niece? Let's just say she's grounded. This place is mine now. The dreamscape doesn't belong to you. Leave now, or I'll make you. <laughs> you act brave, Teddy. But you don't have the stuffing to challenge me. <laughs> I bet that evil fake isn't laughing now. Helen, what did you do? Her frontal cortex is responding. She's improving. So it's her fears that are trapping her. Hang on, Emmy. Wait, you've done enough for the day. We have everything we need to start treating her externally. I can't leave now. Emmy's never been afraid like this before. Something caused this, and I need to find out what.
gates. Who knows? The dreamscape is always changing. One time I saw a windmill, but another time I saw a field of blue orchids. Something tells me it's not going to be flowers. Emmy's anxiety is increasing. This fear isn't like the others. Emmy isn't afraid of any plants. She loved gardening with Mary. Regardless, she's reacting to something. Does anything look suspicious? The only plant that's alive has Emmy's picture on it. The other plants are dead. What if she's afraid of being alone? 
Helen, let's grow some friends for Emmy's plant. 